Hello everybody and welcome to yet another rainy day here in Grotwood. Yes, I am in ESO. Oh, finally in ESO. Yes, we are allowed to show you some pre-recorded footage. Uh, sadly, we are not allowed to live stream, but I thought I would at least make this video that will introduce the character that I will be live streaming, as well as give my impressions on more of the later game in ESO, as I know many of you are getting impressions of the game up to about level 17. Um, they are allowing us to give our impressions on the later game, so I will take advantage of that. Uh, as you see here, first I will start with my character. Uh, she is a Wood Elf Sorcerer, and she will be specializing in the bow, which is why I picked the Race Bossmer, because she has this inherent ability, where is it? Uh, archery Expertise, which will help increase my skills in the bow quicker. Um, the build I am going for on the bow, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, mainly I'll be using this Magnum Shot. This is a good defensive and offensive ability as it does a ton of damage, but it also knocks enemies back. I have uh, morphed it into this Magnum Shot, which also pushes me back another 6 meters, meters which is doubling the distance to, between me and the enemy, which is good to get off more shots before they get to me. <clears throat> so again, a very good control ability, but also lots of damage. Um, eventually, I will be getting into this Snipe ability. This will be a good opener. It'll probably replace this Crystal Blast here later on. Um, I'm hoping that this will synergize with a good Sneak Attack bonus. Um, I'm not sure if that works or not, but we will see. Hopefully it does. It is a 3 second cast, but it does so much damage. It's a ridiculous thing. If it does um, synergize with that sneak attack bonus, I'll probably see a good 50% of health go down on people with one shot. Plus, I will be going into, uh, you know, all these are pretty good. Increased critical. I like this one specifically because if I can get up to 6%, and of course it'll go up uh, another 6% to 12% damage if I'm at the longest range away from the enemy, that attack, uh, attack, wow. Along with, we'll say that, along with Snipe, uh, a lot of damage. And to increase that even further, we go into Storm Calling here, you see Surge. This I will also have. This is a good boost that will increase all weapon damage done. So again, just a ton of damage being done here. Um, I will also get the Bolt Escape, which will be good for when uh, foes will finally be able to get to me and start laying down damage. I will hit that Bolt Escape that will stun them. Also, shoot me forward to get, again, more range and damage coming from the snipe. Hopefully I can get an extra snipe in there and of course from the long shots as well. So just a ton of damage there and some control. Of course I will have Mage's Fury to finish anything off once they have reached 20% uh, health. I'm not sure if I will still continue to have a pet or not. If I do it'll probably be the morphed version of this uh, winged Twilight, which will be able to oh, wow, which will be able to heal me as well as do damage, so that will be good. Um, yes, so that is pretty much her. Um, the points are a little skewed right now. I wasn't quite sure what I was going to be going for, so I put a lot of points into Magicka, but I will be putting more points into Stamina, and then I'll throw a few points into Health as well. Uh, yes, and I am actually liking this active effect here, the tower. This comes from the Standing Stones, or Mundus Stones, they're called in this game, like right here is the tower. So that's what I am having, because a nice increase in stamina never hurt anybody. Uh, as for the gear... Uh, first off, armor, I will be going into medium armor mainly for this agility thing here so when i do have five pieces or more i will have five percent increase in attack speed of course that's just the first upgrade it will go up to ten percent once i get the second point in there so that'll be awesome and uh oh for the weapon swap i will be probably going into two hand great sword uh, i am picking great sword specifically which i'll show you why but two-handed uh, you'll see here momentum. This is the main reason why I want to get this, because you see it has an increase in weapon damage, 10% uh, for 20 seconds, and it keeps increasing every two seconds after that. So a whole bunch of weapon damage. That increased with heavy weapons here, which again, when you have a two-handed sword, increases that another 3%. 
and then of course this goes uh, two points into that so it'll go up to six percent so again that matched with storm calling uh, the surge ability just an immense amount of damage i think that'll be awesome in pvp along with bolt escape to get out so it will be very much the zerg type character that goes in there does its damage and gets the hell out of there um at least that is the idea uh so that is it for the character so now i kind of want to go into my impressions for uh the the more end not so much the end game but the higher end levels the content there as you haven't heard much about that uh, first off let me just say <laughs> it is great content i have a character that has reached let me get through this stuff i've reached a, a veteran rank one on one of my characters through the dc side so i have completed the story on the dc side and i can tell you that it is a great story it finishes off very strong and satisfying um it also uh kind of ties up the reason why you're allowed to be in other alliances after you finish the story you're like so why can i all of a sudden be able to quest in these enemy faction zones well they do a very good reason of explaining why i'm not going to say of course why that is i will let you figure that out on yourself or by yourself or let someone else ruin it for you i'm not going to do that we are going to go into these ruins here hopefully i don't get owned is that part of this quest i can't click on it Oh, that is an orange. I don't know if I want to risk that as I am talking and stuff right now. Uh, anyway, so back to impressions. Um, yes, I know a lot of people have that have tested the game in the lower levels are saying it's kind of a face roll. Some enemies you can like sneak shot, one shot, um, and they think it'll stay like that. I can tell you it is not going to stay like that. Once you start getting past like level 5, you'll notice that you won't be able to do that much anymore as characters enemy characters will be getting more and more powerful why aren't you running away you should be running away well, now you're gonna die because you didn't run away uh who's talking to me that was creepy someone was talking to me after i killed that okay but yes yeah, so it does get a lot harder you'll find that you have to fight three to four mobs at a time just on a regular basis instead of like one or two so again just increasing the difficulty of the game um you will find that you need to use more situational skills and not just spam your highest damaging ability as that uh will earn you a quick death you'll find as you will need to be controlling um some monsters while you'll need to be doing a lot of damage to others you'll figure that out as you go along the game otherwise you will just get your face mashed in i guess um the okay so like i said i did go through the daggerfall covenant side uh the i enjoyed pretty much all of the quests that i had to do um also the area is very uh diversified i guess eclectic as there's deserts and like more forested areas um so yes it differs very much it's very cool Anything in here that's going to kill me? Oh, I don't know, but I do see books that I do want to read. Read every single bookcase you get your hands on because you do want to increase uh, your skills, right? Your skill lines. Of course, I guess I've read all these before. Oh, there's one. Bow increased. All right. Oh, but yes, I... Okay, so I have played a lot of AD. Um... And I would have to agree with Angry Joe in his latest video where he was saying that the AD is just so much better than the other ones, at least in the beginning, and I do agree with that. And the reason for that, uh, I believe he also explained this, is that there's only one starting area. Wow, you have a lot to say. There's only one starting area in the AD, whereas the other two have two starting areas. So that means that they have to place more... Uh, quests within a smaller area so you just feel like there's a lot more to do it's not as boring as the other ones um so just for that fact alone it makes the ad side a lot better but then of course everything just looks at least to me everything looks so much better on the ad side um a lot more contrast in colors there's just all these different trees some of them are like fall colors others are green <clears throat> so it just oh, it looks beautiful and I just want to say, the 
the environmental artists that just had put in all this detail and this stuff did an amazing job, I think more so than on the actual characters themselves. Uh, just, they're, they're, they feel so full, full of stuff. You know how you go into MMOs, they, they, sure, they're huge and everything, a huge amount of actual land, but you find that they're sparse and actually filled with anything. I mean, there's just so much stuff around, just plants and flowers and trees. Uh, all these old alien ruin things just everywhere. A flesh astronaut coming at me. Just an immense amount of stuff. And just makes it feel more full. Makes it feel like a real world. So I think the environmental artist did an amazing job. Did I just aggro something else? No. Um, so yes, I am just loving this game. It gets better and better as you go along. <coughs> Excuse me, as you go along. Um... Again, it ends on a very good note. Very good note. You'll see what I'm talking about. I love it. Oh, we got someone that's frozen in stone. Two people. Hello. Poor guys. Uh, so what else can I say? It's, it's a great game. I was enthralled throughout the whole thing. Yes, there are definitely... Why are these guys frozen too? They're faking it. Oh god, I knew it. They were faking. Okay, Storm Atronach time. Oh yeah! Well, I'll do that, I'll get my twilight out. Storm's probably gonna kill them all. If not, I will. Okay, dead. And dead. Good. Thank you, Storm Atronach. Very powerful. Aren't you? Yes! And of course he's dead. Um, yeah, so there are some bugged quests. Actually, there was quite a few of them. They fixed a lot of them that I've seen. Um, a lot of the bug quests can be fixed just by logging out and logging back in. Again, it's a pain in the ass, but yes, at least a lot of them you can get through. Um, because it sucks when, you, when you're going through a quest chain and then you find that, you know, the end's broken. You can't complete the story. Um, but yes, hopefully most of those will be worked out. Why did you not get pushed back? Well, you're dead. Um... But a lot of them are different, and they do make a way... Okay, so a lot of the quests are your basic, like, go collect this, or go kill this, or go find this person, or go ask... Well, there's not a lot of escort quests. But I uh, guess there's... Oh, God, there's no way I'm going to be able to kill all these three guys. A lot of different quests, but they do kind of hide the fact that they are very similar quests, at least the style of quests, by just adding background stories to them, a lot of cosmetic effects to them that don't make them seem like they are the same standard quests. So kudos to them for doing that. Um, and, and it works. It does trick you into thinking that they are just very uh, original quests. And I guess in a way that they, they are because they do do such a well uh, job at that. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much my impressions. It's a great game. Uh, no, they're not paying me to say that. Uh, I think most of you will enjoy this, even the hardcore Elder Scrolls fans and the hardcore MMO fans. You will find enjoyment in this game once you do get past those tutorial islands, or I like to call them prologue islands, because they do kind of... They, they lay, they lay the, the foundation for the rest of the story. So once you do get past those and you do get more into the open area, the game gets so much better. Um, and you find that it does get a lot more challenging, which is good. Um, and there is a lot of stuff to do. And again, just even it's it's raining and it still looks beautiful around here. And you see you got a nice uh, dark anchor there in the distance, which owns you unless you have people helping you out. So again, that's good. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, yes, if you do want to have the most success in this game, want to have the most fun with this game, I suggest that you do not... And I think Josh has said this. Do not go into this game thinking it is going to be Skyrim with multiplayer. If you do that, you're going to be let down because you're going to have this, this false sense of entitlement with the game. You're going to think it's going to be more than it is, I guess, if you're thinking of it in those terms. So don't think of it as that. Just think of it as an RPG in its own right because that's what it is. It is a great RPG. Um... So much stuff to do, great progression. It's beautiful. Quests are enthralling. 
So if you go into it just thinking of it as its own monster, its own RPG that just happens to be in the Elder Scrolls universe, you will have a much better time with it. And that's really all I can say about it. So that is my impressions. Uh, so now I guess I will just, you know, concentrate on the game that I'm actually playing now and let you guys see more of the gameplay since now I am able to do so. I know you guys have been asking for it, so let's do it. So again, I'm in Grotwood right now, which is a part in the Aldmeri Dominion. Here you see Grotwood. Uh, there's Aradon, that's the first, uh, like, more open island for you to go through on getting attacked. The hell are you? Missed me, son of a bitch. Gonna get this set up. Knocked down. And dead. Pretty much when I hit this ability here, Mage's Wrath, and they're below 20 health, they're pretty much dead. Getting these logs, because I want to start crafting some bows and stuff, get that set up. Let's get my Wing Twilight out. Let's see, let's get some quests. I might just wander off and see if I can find something. What's over here? Let's go over here. Phantom Guilt is what the quest is called, so let's head over that way. See what we can kill. Oh, jeez. Okay, they're not attacking me. But this one I'm going to sneak attack. As you can see, it did about 50% damage there. Not a one-shot like it used to do. So again, just proof that... Things do get harder, so you do have to start learning to use those situational skills in the right situation, obviously. Here's a chest, let's get this. Intermediate, not bad. I'm sure I'll get this in the first go. Alright. Uh, ooh, oh, I can't use it yet. Not huge on the weakening part, but the damage looks nice, and the bow skin's pretty cool. Let's see if we can get up here. All right, where am I heading? Over here. Oh, Jesus! Oh, storm astronaut. Otherwise, I would have got my face stoned. Ah, oh, man. Woo! Storm astronaut, a definite oh shit button. Why can't I loot you? There we go. Thank you, Stormy. You saved me once again. Oh, another log. Wow, there's a lot of these poachers. Such a sneak. And dead. Oh, and that one got disintegrated. Love that effect. That happens uh, by chance when you're using electric abilities. Just like flame abilities will possibly turn them to ash. And the frost ability, I think, is probably the coolest looking one. It turns them into, like, just, you know, a frozen block of ice, and then it shatters into pieces. Very cool effects. I will ignore you wolves, but I will get this log. What? Something's going over there. They're all arguing with each other. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh, horse. All oh, these guys are... this guy's defending after these two? Let me help this guy out. Knock you, because I know you're going to come for me. Why is he kind of just standing there? Oh, jeez! Is that a third one came after me? Get back. Oh, you're a tough one. But you're dead. Nope, nope, get away. Get away. I am out of stamina. Back. Okay, you're dead. You're dead, son. Don't hurt my wingy. There we go. All right, so help these guys out. Thank you. You're welcome. Whoa! Look at those horns. Another thing they really need to fix is the texture pop-ins. Did you see that? Like how it was really low res, and it took quite a while for it to turn high res. And also the horses need to be redone, I think. Um, some of them are very low res. They need to be fixed before launch, I think. And there's a lot of oak in here. I'm loving it. 
tip them a bosmer. Well, it's already fallen, right? So I'm not cutting down new trees. So I'm not hurting the green pact, I don't think. What's going on down here? These are some... This used to be some kind of fort of some kind. Where am I at? Gold Folly. Cool looking place. Looks like this used to be a forge. Ooh, chest. I shall take you. There we go. Oh, come on. Alright. Uh, of course it's heavy armor. I want medium, damn it. As you might be able to tell, I am a little underleveled for this area, but it's fine because, you know, I'm a storm caller. So I own things well above my level. Can I go in here? An abandoned longhouse. Ah, it doesn't look too abandoned. We have blood fiends, which are like, uh... They're like rapid vampires, basically, is what they are. They do a lot of damage. I think most of them are night blades. Okay, yes. They do love to rush you. Nope, get away. See, someone's still talking to me. That must be some quest or something I have active. Why did that skill not connect? That was weird. I have noticed that this Mage's Wrath or whatever. Sometimes I cast it on someone and it actually doesn't do anything. I'm like, what the hell's going on? Okay, three. I am going to leave you guys to it because you will probably own me. Let's go back to doing the quest. Have to get to it. Ugh, I'm stuck on crap. Go down here. I'll, might as well get that way shrine. <clears throat> Kind of a cool thing is if you get owned just before you get to a way shrine, uh, you will res to the nearest one. Even if it's not unlocked, you'll still res at that one, which will then unlock it for you. Oh jeez, there's so many of them around here. Another log. Right back into sneak. kind of wished more plants were pickable. There's a high iron right there. But I'm not working on any kind of metal crafting. I don't think anything's around here. Let's get this way shrine first. What the hell? Damn birds. Monkey! Hello, monkey. Yes, you can kill monkeys, but why? They're adorable. All right, got the way shrine. Now let's head to this quest. You gonna fly away, birds? You gonna fly away? Isn't that cool? Little details like that. They are loud as hell. All right, a gravestone. The Sahanar. Beloved of Azabesh. Huh? What? Hello. What brings you to my husband's grave? I don't think we... My husband was a guard for a merchant caravan. So he was guarding a merchant caravan and died. So I gotta find... Ooh, lore book. Bunch of Dwemer scrolls. Nifty, alright. Looks like we got another quest to grab over here. Hello. Do you smell that? No. The air here. It's almost sweet. Be wary. There are vampires about. Yeah, I saw them. There's one I know oh, that's a spider behind vampire you. Hunters. We are going to kill as many of them as we can. Good. Four hunters is better than three any day. Where's the rest of them? You might think. You want to meet them? God. Agalir. Come meet our new friend. Uh oh. Okay, please be nice to me. 
hell did y'all come from? A new recruit, eh? I hope you can keep pace. The blood will run fast and thick when the vampires attack, and I can't. Gods, I hope so. But don't let Argo hear. Hmm, bit of a frame drop there. Are you ready to take the sword to these? Yes. That's all I need to know. Looks like you've made your in. All right, take this blood. Sword. Listen closely. This is the plan. Okay. We're going to lay a trap in the abandoned village of the hill. Zungark, you got the whiskey. Oh, tigers. No by me. <gasps> they're senchei. Can they talk? Oh, oh god, they're angry. Why are they mad at me? Oops. I guess I was supposed to listen to them. Oh well, I didn't want to do it anyway. There's abandoned camp. What the heck's over here? Oh, that's for that chick. Might as well do that. Uh, let's go to this way shrine. Over to bridge. What? Where did you come from? Our eyes are everywhere in Grotwood. We fixed them upon you for some time. Yeah. We're in need of an outsider. I'm privileged to be a Vine Dusk Ranger. We report directly Black Sap Rebellion for one. Give me a moment to open the portal. Okay, well this came out of nowhere. Enter the portal. Okay. The the portal transfer? You see there's a lot of cool quests like that that kinda of just come out of nowhere. It's like, hey, uh, while you're here, how about you do this? So we've been expecting. Hello. You're in no oh. danger here, friend. Cormount is where the Black Sap Rebellion began. With your help, the Black Cormount Sap we Rebellion. The Vine Dusk Rangers, after General Andare broke their backs, we packed Black Why Sap hate the king, but they have less love for the Dominion. We know Goranir is strong as an ox and just as proud. Nothing we didn't know already. Is that who I'm killing? Our agent in Kormat. Once you've departed, for Einor will seal the pool. You hear that, Gelfiel? Ugh. Hello there. What's up? It's actually the armor I want to get. That's, uh... Bosmer armor. Which makes sense. Ashy is a Bosmer. Yeah, I like that armor. That's what I'll be making for myself. Come to mock the rightful king of not since his ascension to our ancient comp. Of course, if the bloody bloody blah. Blah. Say the words. Do you hate how my quiver and bow kind of fly in front of me, like that? I've reported that. Hopefully, they fix that. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> Oh, my poor frame rate. All right, so we got two quests in here. Are you going to slaughter? Well, that's a big tree. Entire town. Who is this guy that is talking in my head? Spit. What's going on here? Strange happenings at the reliquary of stars. They say books are flying of their own accord. Really? Never trust the wisdom of the aliens is beyond us. The wisdom of the aliens is beyond us. You let that woman Hello. Know that doctor. Hello. Is there anything you might need for your travel? There's really only Rondrin, but he's been retired for a while now. Well, while I'm here, I might as well repair my stuff. And sell some stuff. Alright, moving on. Let's go up the tree. If I can click on it. There we go. Man. Just keep going on up. Moving on up. It doesn't matter if you think you saw an after a piece of potato. I can't do anything without Hello. Thank you, Tree Thine. I won't have my good name sullied by this fanatic. A year ago, hair. and he'd be buried up to your neck for days for his blasphemy. Enough. I've given my ruling. Where's your eye? Please get on with your lives. I don't want to hear any more of this. Yes. How can I help you? Yes, Tree Thane. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to witness that. I knew Cormant citizens were zealous about the Green Pact. But yes, Farina said I'm to support you. Oh, I guess they don't really care about sons. the Green Pact. Whilst the Black Sap Rebellion started here, it won't surprise you to learn Cormant citizens provide food and gold to the remnants. They mm -hmm. use special the phrases change weekly. Definitely the work of Lorchon. Lucky for you, 
I've done the scut work. You'll find this week's phrases in the journal next to me. I oh, so we're going to infiltrate it. I can't imagine they'll be happy. Then destroy it. <laughs> oh, there's the journal. Everything should be in the journal. Be careful. Known black sap sympathizers. Where's the phrase? The felonous, the whatever, peeper swim at night. <laughs> Uh Okay. Back down the ladders we go. All right, back in Cormont. Oh wow, there's a lot to do for this quest. Alright, well I think that is going to be it for the gameplay for this week. Sorry there wasn't more going on. Uh, hopefully next time there will be plenty to do. But as you can see, this is a beautiful game. Tons of quests to do, tons of activities. Things just pop out of nowhere and have you do stuff. Um, again... Things do get more complicated, which is good. It's no longer a face roll, you can't just one-shot enemies. So even though, you know, a lot of the uh, impressions coming from people... Oops, I wasn't reading. Oh crap, I didn't mean it! I meant the other thing, the, the peepers swim at night or something. Okay, well, let's not do that until we're concentrating on the quest. Yes, a lot of the impressions have been kind of negative from a lot of people, uh, but that's because they've only really gone through a few levels with the game. They probably haven't really gone into explore past maybe the first couple islands of their alliance. Can I blame them for the negative feedback? No, I can't because it was up to the developers to design a game that had a strong entrance and it really didn't in this game. I mean, it's it's kind of lame that we have to say the game gets better. Uh, but that said, it does, you know. So just get through the beginning, just uh, treat it as a prologue to the rest of the story so you know what's going on and just get through it. Then the game really does open up and feels a lot more like an Elder Scrolls game, but again, don't treat it like it is Skyrim Online or something like that. Treat it as its own M, uh, its own RPG, and that way you can judge it on its own merits, and you'll find that it is a very entertaining game. Um, just so much stuff going on, so beautiful. Um, and that's pretty much it. So, uh, yes, next time you guys are allowed to get into beta, I will probably be streaming it along with your playing. So. Uh, if you do have the time, go ahead and visit our Twitch channel and follow it so you will know when we are going live. Um, I can pretty much guarantee you the moment uh, we are allowed to stream, I will be streaming. Um, so again, that'll be twitch.tv forward slash Kyle underscore shoddycast, which I will be placing in the description below just so easier for you to click on. Um, until next time... Hope you guys have enjoyed this. I will be putting out more. I have been Kyle from the Shoddy Cast, and have a good one. Oh, it's cold out here. Try again later.